Hey guys, and welcome back to Lipstick Week. It's day six today, which means there's only one more day left. I'm pretty sure at this point, I've already stopped asking about questions for Q&A, but if you do have any questions for me, I will be posting the Q&A next week sometime, so feel free to just throw some questions into the comment section, and I will include them in that video. Today is going to be a swatch and review on the Maybelline Made For All lipsticks. These have been out for a while now, but I never picked them up. I was actually like hesitant about getting them. I just, I don't know. I wasn't like super interested in them, but one of you had requested that I film a video on them. This is going to be a little bit different from my usual swatch and review videos because I haven't actually tried all of these lipsticks. I've only tried the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now which is spice for me so I thought it would be cool to do like a live swatch kind of video where I will apply them for the first time on camera in front of you guys I will include a review so I'm gonna start I think with the review because I have worn spice for me quite a few times now and I know how I feel about it so I'll include a mini review on the formula but if you are interested in the swatches I will leave the timestamp somewhere here I will also leave it in the description bar anyway thank you guys for watching and let's just go ahead and get started this is like my work face as soon as I got home from work today I ate dinner I took out the garbage I freshened up my makeup pretty much freshened up my eyeshadow and my lipstick so I'm sorry if I look really sweaty and haggard in this video today it is green tea this is the David's tea I think it's North African mint green tea so of course, the only one I've tried, like I mentioned in the intro, was Spice for me. I'm gonna be basing the review off this particular shade. I'm just going to kind of assume the rest of them are the same formula. I'm only gonna make this like a mini review and it's because I feel like the point of these lipsticks wasn't exactly the formula. I feel like it was more the colors and how they're supposed to suit every single skin tone. I don't have all of the shades because this is getting, this is like an expensive week for me. I've bought a lot of lip products in the past week. So I only picked up four of the shades. I picked up the ones that I thought I would actually wear and use. I think these are just an average lipstick formula. I don't think there's anything special about this lipstick. It is a nice creamy finish, as you can tell. It's very pigmented as well. It glides on very smooth. It really takes one swipe. You don't need to layer it. it doesn't emphasize lines. It's just your typical cream lipstick. I really don't have any problems with the formula. It's just not something that wowed me a lot like I wasn't super impressed by it in general it's just an average lipstick you can find these anywhere at the drugstore I think there's a lot of other options so I don't really think this is anything to rant and rave about formula wise wear time it's not terrible like I wore this one to work today and when I got home it was pretty much gone for my lips there's like a little bit of color left it didn't look crumbly or gross and messy at all when I got home but it wasn't the color really wasn't there on my lips anymore I did check after lunch like after I ate lunch at work I did check and the lipstick was still there I think if you're gonna wear them for like a 10 or 12 hour day like I did they're not gonna last like you're gonna have to reapply them I feel like that's pretty much all I have to say good pigmentation nice creamy texture good consistency doesn't feel dry throughout the day it's actually very comfortable it didn't dry out my lips at all pretty decent stain power and yeah that's pretty much it there's not really much else I can say about the formula of these so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches I don't know why I keep touching my hair stop 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 I'd say I have a light medium olive complexion so warmer skin yellow undertones I typically wear foundations that are labeled as light medium just for reference I wear 120 in the Maybelline Superstay foundation I wear M10 in the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Another good shade match for me is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the shade Natural. This is pretty much a exact shade for me. So hopefully that gives you some type of reference. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the swatches. I don't know if I told you guys, but I think I have allergies. I've never had them before, but I know they can hit at any time in your life. I think they've hit me. Kind of getting to that point of the year where hay fever and people with like seasonal allergies, it's getting them. My nose is really runny and my eyes are really itchy. But anyway, the first shade is 370 Spice for me. I think this is like their nude. I don't really know because they don't really seem to have a nude in this collection. I'd say it's almost like borderline terracotta brown. It's actually very, very nice. I really like it. I think this one works really well with my skin tone. I feel like this is a shade that I'm gonna wear a lot. I think it would look good in the fall, but it would also look really pretty in the summer. It is a really pretty shade and I 
like it on me. The next one I'm gonna try is in the shade 373 Mauve for me. Okay, I went way out of the lip line with this. Um, just ignore all that. But this is actually a really, really pretty color. I really like it. I like the way that this one looks on me. I don't like the way I applied it, but I do really like the color. I feel like this is more just of like a nude, like a dark nude. I think Spice for me and Mauve for me were the two that I was most certain of buying because after seeing swatches and stuff, I figured these were shades that I would wear anyway. So I do really like this one. I think this is a really pretty color. Okay, the next one that I want to try is 376 Pink for me. This is one that I was really not wanting to buy. I don't like pink lipsticks. I don't really wear them a lot. I don't think they suit me very much. This one looks like more of a nudie pink, so hopefully this one won't look terrible on me. Actually, this is a lot more nude than I thought it was going to be. It's not very pink at all. This feels much more of a, like a nude pink color. I thought at first it was really similar to mauve for me. That's mauve for me and that's pink for me. They look really similar on camera. But in person, pink for me is definitely more pink. Mauve for me is more brown, has more of a brown undertone. Not what I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot more pink. I'm pretty sure like I would wear this one again. I don't think it looks terrible on me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I thought it was going to be a lot more pink and I was like excited to see how it would look on me because it's supposed to look good on everyone. But this is just like a nude. One thing I just wanted to add is the packaging on these feels very like cheap almost. It doesn't feel like their usual sturdy packaging. You know how lipsticks in the bullet form they like lock? These ones don't really lock. Like you'll twist it and then it'll keep twisting. So that's a little concerning. I feel like that could get messy really fast if you're traveling with these. This next one is not what I thought it would be. I ordered these online and this is supposed to be 382 red for me and it's kind of in like the same packaging but this is matte like it says matte on the actual like little sticker thing packaging is also matte as well I don't know if they have all of the colors in the matte formula let me know if you guys know anything about this like is the color red for me only available in matte but anyways let's give this one a try it doesn't feel matte it feels like the exact same like creaminess okay that's a terrible swatch it's very difficult to do red lips under pressure like this I kind of get now why this one's matte. Like this does look less shiny than the other ones. It feels just as creamy and smooth and it doesn't feel dry at all, but it definitely looks like it has less of a shine. This one is just your typical red. I feel like it's a very true red. I mean, I like it. I don't wear reds a lot, so I'll probably pass this one off to a sibling. One of my sisters might want it. It does look good. Like it doesn't look bad on my skin tone. I feel like reds in general can kind of look good on anyone. It's one of those like universal shades. I know not a lot of people like wearing reds. I don't like reds, but I do feel like it's one of those shades that kind of looks good on anyone. Okay, that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the live swatches and found them helpful, especially if you have a similar skin tone to me. Like I mentioned, nothing really special about the formula. I do think it does work on every skin tone. The formula is just nothing really to rave about. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I guess I will see you guys in my next video.